Let's Create is our plan for how we can make sure by 2030, everyone in England can be creative and access culture. Published last year, we are now beginning to put it into practice, and it should help the culture sector respond to the challenges we all face as we begin the recovery from COVID-19. At its heart will be four new investment principles that will guide our investment decisions and apply to anyone who seeks funding from us. They are ambition and quality, inclusivity and relevance, dynamism and environmental responsibility. Public investment in the future will require these principles to be embedded throughout your work and funding applications. This will vary for different types of organisations and individuals. In many cases, they are already embedded, but we want the best practice to become universal practice, creating a roadmap for the whole sector to reach the widest audience with the best work. Let's look at ambition and quality. This is about cultural organizations and creative individuals being ambitious and committed to constantly improving the quality of their work. Firstly, it means engaging with people inside and outside your circle about your mission and work. Secondly, it's about making sure your plans help you achieve your aims and ambitions and working with lots of different people to improve. Finally, it's about you deciding what quality looks like for you and being endlessly restless to improve future work. Let's review inclusivity and relevance. This is about England's diversity being fully reflected in the organisations and individuals we support and the culture they produce. Firstly, this will mean actively engaging with your local community, especially with underserved groups and people. Secondly, it will mean your staff, leaders and board look like the community you aim to serve and your working culture is safe, welcoming and inspires everyone to do their best. Lastly, it means offering programmes that attract everyone and allow everyone to see themselves in what you offer. Let's explore dynamism. This principle is about being dynamic and being able to respond to the challenges of the next decade. The first part of this will be ensuring that your objectives and the way that you work can adapt to change and they empower you to seize new opportunities to develop and improve for everyone you support and serve. The second part is to understand that you can't do that without a brilliant team of skilled, ethical and resilient individuals. It will mean investing in them and recognising that leaders come in many forms. The final part is embracing data and technology. You will learn how to take advantage of all that technology can offer you and make informed decisions using good data. Let's talk about environmental responsibility. This principle means you lead the way in your approach to environmental responsibility. First, you use good data to understand your environmental impact and plan your changes. Secondly, you strive to ensure that within your business planning, your environmental strategy is at the core. Your plans are supported by targets and you can show positive change. And finally, you commission and present programmes and content that explores the issues. We want the four investment principles to inspire the continuous improvement and development we all need to succeed. They will provide all of us receiving public money a benchmark to start from. We'll help you use the principles as a tool to guide your practice and reflect on your progress. The Arts Council won't set targets for you, but we want you to set your own ambitious ones. They'll be tested differently across funding programmes and applied differently depending on whether you are a local authority-run service, a cultural organisation or an individual creative practitioner. But used well and embedded into your plans, actions and applications, we can be confident that anyone receiving public investment is helping to deliver the vision of our 10-year strategy. Let's create.